नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू योर ऑन चैनल ए सी एस ट्रो एंड टूडे वी आर हेयर विद मोस्ट अवेटेड वीडियो ऑफ एवरी वीक दिस इज अकली हॉरोस्कोप वीक स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फोर्टींथ अप्रैल टू ट्वेंटी अप्रैल so what's there in this week for all the 12 ascendants let's welcome akash chohan ji from calgary canada akash ji namaskar ram ram namaskar rohit ji ram ram yes today we are going to discuss about the weekly horoscope for 14th till 20th here we go uh, positively this is uh, only moon is transiting the biggest transit that has happened is sun sun has already transited and become exalted for all the ascendants and for aries ascendant sun has become exalted in the first house that means lot of self confidence is coming your way but other than that moon is entering into cancer on 15th of april now moon here in cancer in own sign restores lot of good things for you especially things related to your property your you know finances in the terms of your real estate and your vehicles in that area you're going to get some kind of good benefit and on top of that mother anything to do with mother or motherland very nice thing for you now uh, understand that moon is also aspecting the 10th house that is the house related to your career so in this area you can expect little bit of you know little bit of up and down what we say because moon aspecting the house of saturn not a very very pleasant thing to for moon to be but otherwise awesome time for moon entering into the cancer sign then moon enters into leo now remember whenever a planet will be in progression from its house like if it is a, it's a sign of cancer and you know it's going in the fifth house of creativity children love romance this is the house of selfless love also so those who are into any kind of relationships those who are in speculative investments those who are in any kind of you know plan planning to do children or those who are expecting something for children or education very very awesome time for all the aries sign and people because moon here will give you absolutely beautiful results related to this house then moon enters into virgo now this is not a very pleasant time because moon entering with ketu creates a kind of a grahan yoga grahan yoga it does not mean that there is going to be an eclipse but it's just going to be that moon comes into the influence of a malefic and moon can create problem or trouble in the health area those who are going through moon dasha and dasha will be uh, you know feeling it more than other people but otherwise if we see the big planets very very awesome time sun very nice jupiter very nice you know venus exalted niche bang raj yog in the 12th house vipreet raj yog in the 12th house so awesome time for you aries sun people this is the this is a week specially will focus on things related to foreign travel things related to your home and investments and things related to your vehicles lot of good news coming this way all the best for all the aries sun people thank you so much for watching uh, do subscribe so that for the next week you are already updated that the video has been uploaded all the best for taurus sun and people rohit ji here moon is in the third house for them in the sign of cancer this is the time that you may be feeling little bit lonely or hard work to overwork this is the time that you may feel little bit relaxed now you may say that okay i did lot of hard work overwork and i was completely into you know this mess of work but now things will start showing if you know the results of that hard work fruits will be coming in this is a time of education higher education as well you will be doing some kind of taking some kind of new courses new training very very awesome time for all the taurus sun and people the moon enters into leo now this is the place of moon if you see i told you i told in the earlier ascendant also whenever a planet will go in progression from its house that is the best time for a planet to gain for the previous house that means during this time you will gain from the communication that you have done in the past any contracts anything to do with your home real estate vehicles good time for you and it is a time if you are thinking of foreign travel traveling abroad there will be possibility that you may be able to travel abroad because the lord of the fourth house is in the 12th house and exalted so sun is also in a very powerful position so all the best for you and then moon enters into virgo now here we have to be very careful with the children creativity and the love area there can be misunderstandings miscommunication illusions and things related to this and this especially in the relationship love and relationship area we have to be careful because your communication can become little bit of challenging on the other hand if you see the fifth house is a house of children as well so little bit of 
disrespect or maybe you know not satisfied with the children kind of approach can happen during this time but overall if we see the bigger planets your 10th house saturn in very very awesome mool trikon position and now in the nakshatra of purva bhatrapada that means ajay kapada nakshatra your career will come into balance and on the other hand 11th house has niche bhang raj yog you know awesome time for you to gain money to gain name and fame all the best hope you subscribe so that next week when we upload the video for the next week you are all updated otherwise you will miss it and uh, give your feedback in the comment below that how was this week maybe come back end of the week and you know you can give that feedback that what what, what all did happen so that we can understand that how the planets are playing a role in your life all the best all the best for all the Taurus season people there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and those who want to subscribe click on the subscribe button now we talk about Gemini ascendant people. When we talk about Gemini ascendant, Moon is the second house lord, and it's coming in the second house of wealth, finances, restoring all the losses that you have gone through. It is going to be a positive period for wealth accumulation. It is also a positive period for you know disposing of your fixed assets. If you have some home, something you need to dispose of, you need to um, get into the area of uh, you know uh, selling it off or. Uh, you know liquidating it yes exactly the second house is the house of liquidation in fact this is also the house when we talk about family family love and affection comes from the second house for you so good news for all the Gemini Ascendant people money is going to be coming all the stuck money investments that were supposed to give you returns are going to come another indicator is the fifth house lord that is the lord sat uh, venus is exalted during this time so there is going to be some positive thing that you may be able to see in the terms of monetary benefits then comes moon enters leo and here moon is the lord of the second house and in progression in the third house that means from your speech and commitments and your from your hard work from your values your status your communication becomes awesome during this time it is a beautiful time for all the gemini and people and especially in terms of you know your siblings trying to help you your neighbors trying to help you your colleagues trying to help you in fact in the whole social area people will be coming to put help in your hand awesome time then moon enters into virgo here if you see moon is in kendra second house lord in the in the kendra and moon is with ketu here trouble to mother mother motherland trouble in travel trouble in any kind of thing related to you know long distance or you know foreign travel trouble in your real estate and trouble in things related to your uh, what we say um, vehicles you know during this time you should avoid getting into any kind of dealing of vehicles or any kind of things related to your uh, what we say uh, uh, related to your real estate on the other hand career wise if you see in your career house niche bhang raj yoga has happened you know venus and mercury together rahu in the 10th house rahu jiske 10 mein dunya uske bas mein so awesome rahu is in the 10th house you are going to be ruling all the best for all the gemini and people it's a very wonderful week there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and do subscribe so that next week when we upload the video you are there and you can see your next week as well we upload every week so all the best moving on to cancer ascendant people now when we talk about cancer ascendant lagna your ascendant and rising has the queen of the solar system that is moon in residing exactly transiting in your first house this is the time of self-confidence attitude your personal life in fact this is the time you will start taking care of yourself people will be joining gym you know people will be thinking of getting into some kind of fitness activity or maybe your mind uh, you know go on retreat go on spiritual retreats holidays and whatnot so it's a very beautiful time for all the cancer ascendant people in fact, this is the time that you have to be a little bit careful about your relationship because moon is directly going to be aspecting your seventh house. And, you know, uh, this can create a little bit of disturbance because it has house of Saturn, right? Moon and Saturn do not go together very well. So a little bit of mm, misunderstandings can happen, emotional misunderstandings. So just be careful. On the other hand, moon enters into Leo as well. Now, when moon enters into Leo, look at the Lord. The Lord of the second house is exalted in the 11th house. This means that because of your attitude, because of your effort, because of what you have done, you are going to receive some kind of benefit now and that will be turning into monetary benefit. Your status goes up. Those who are looking for promotion or any kind of things related to, you know, development in the area related to your uh, 
वर्क वर्क प्लेस और सम टाइम फॉर यू वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस और फैमिली वाइज इफ यू आर वेटिंग टू अचीव समथिंग और गेट समथिंग यू मे गो यू मे गेट दैट इनफैक्ट इफ यू सी इन अ पॉजिटिव वे second house is the house of speech so anything that you speak during this period is going to be converting into a positive you know what you say positive outcome or a positive result for all the people very nice time for cancer monetary benefit is number one factor in your life that will come to you because the disposit always remember dispositor means the owner of the second house is sun in exalted position that means sun is the most highest powerful position in the year in only in april it happens when sun enters into aries and becomes very very powerful so your second house lord is powerful in the house of career so career wise you're doing to do act excellent in your life then moon enters into virgo now when moon enters into virgo this is the sign which is not a very pleasant sign for moon and remember in this whole uh, ascendant moon has given the third house to uh, uh, what you say mercury so that means it is not a positive house here moon struggles and that struggle is specially related to hard work and extra effort that you have to put extra communication extra travel short distance travel siblings you know extra effort to in with your siblings these kind of things will happen during this time but on the other hand personal interest those who are thinking of studying those who are thinking of or in the business of communication or you know any kind of thing related to uh, media journalism very good time for them those who are marketing expert very good time for them why because of the niche bhang raj yog happening in the 9th house both aspecting the third house and mercury aspecting with an exalted aspect the dispositor is powerful right now you know everything is dispo- this is a very positive awesome week for all the cancer ascendant people especially sun exalted venus exalted you know your venus is very important here remember it is the lord of the 4th house the 11th house that means sukha and gains all the things that you were supposed to get is venus and its exalted means now desire big you will get things in your life all the best there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and those who are watching the video for the first do subscribe so that next week when you come you know you, you will get a notification that the video has been uploaded for the weekly horoscope so all the best leo ascendant people when we talk about leo ascendant people moon is the 12th house lord getting in the 12th house himself is you know expenses on the rise there is going to be expenses especially related to traveling or maybe you must be traveling somewhere right now like i am i am traveling right now i am making expenses and you know this is the time of little bit of relaxation solitude little bit of going inside you know meditation going in the nature walking trails such kind of things should happen also this is a time of hospital so many people may see the face of hospital not for yourself maybe for a family member as well but yes that can be possible on the other end 12th house moon always tells you to do little bit of expenses so be careful in the real, uh, area related to expenses necessity over luxury this should be your decision making baseline that okay is this necessity or is this luxury okay all the best then moon enters into leo wow the 12th house lord in the lagna that means all the positive gains all the problems related to expenses you know all the accumulated wealth of your spiritual Uh, wealth comes to the first house and this is going to be a very positive time that you will start expecting uh, you know your your attitude becomes different you start working out on yourself personality development and things like that happens your basically this is a time that a lot of confidence comes into you moon aspecting the 7th house where it makes two yogas vishaya yoga as well as mahalakshmi yoga so that means here through partnership either you can get little bit of struggle or little bit of money depending on your dasha and antar dasha it it has to take turn but mo- positively monetary benefits is seen during this time then moon enters into virgo now moon is not a very very pleasant planet in the sign of virgo and especially with conjunction of ketu it is not going to be a positive time and especially in the area related to expenses again comes to accumulated wealth and that accumulated wealth now getting spent investment wise we should be careful or not make any decisions during this time for investment because this is not the right time for investments at all this is the time to just don't make commitments don't speak be silent 
Ketu always, when it comes with moon, you take headless decision in terms of finance. Finance is nothing, no move moving forward. Let moon enter into the fourth, for third, like next week. This week, no financial transactions. This week, only quiet. Saying that, okay, nice. Oh, you know, there is one very good scheme. Oh, nice. Next week, we'll talk about it. This is what you should be doing. Other than that, on a positive note, positive time for all the Leo and then people because moon is going to enter into lagna your eighth house has uh, you know venus exalted uh, mercury debilitated needs bhang raj yog on top of that ninth house has lagnesh exalted what do you else need this is the most positive time to go ahead and you know do get into that war zone and win that war so all the best for Leo and then people those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed, thank you so much. There is a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. Uh, you know, click on it and you will be able to come here and discuss about your birth chart. Virgo ascendant people. When we talk about Virgo ascendant people, moon is entering into cancer and that is the 11th house. That means Virgo ascendant people get ready for gains. And after gains, get ready for expenses. And after expenses, get ready to again gain. Because it is a very positive time for all the Virgo Ascendant people. Moon in the 11th house will make your social circle expand. Social circle be very nice. On top of that, you are going to gain something. Uh, if there is any deals that you are supposed to close, if there is any big uh, goal that you are supposed to achieve, you will be able to achieve during this week. The beginning of the week is very, very positive. Just a little bit push and things will happen in the Ex absolute right way then moon enters into leo it is a 12th house where moon enters now this does not mean losses this means expenses on necessities this means that the gains that you have come now will now turn into expenses but for a good reason whenever a planet will be going into progression from its sign it will show some kind of positive things but the aspect of moon is not very very positive during this time so moon is aspecting the sixth house where saturn and mars so with mars moon makes mahalakshmi yoga but with saturn moon makes visha yoga in aspect also that means health wise there can be challenges because of you or your family members you may or might have to visit some kind of hospital and if you will be watching this video from there, I'm sorry for it, but this is how planets act in the world. Then moon enters into the Lagna. Finally, moon enters and here restores a lot of confidence, a lot of self-respect, a lot of attitude changes your physical, your self, you will automatically think that, you know, physically I have to change. So you will take new actions, you will take new initiatives during this time. Honestly, if you see one of the most positive time for you in your seventh house of status relationships, there is a niche bhang raj yoga happening right now. That is Venus exalted, Mercury debilitated. On top of that, your eighth house has two yogas. One is exalted sun, ucha, exalted sun. And on top of that, sun making vipreet raj yoga. So biggest to biggest obstacles, problems in research, biggest to biggest problems in terms of investments, in terms of inheritance, in terms of sudden ups and downs in career wise, any problem, everything is going to be solved for you. This is an absolute bonus. Awesome week after the eclipse. So all the best, all the Virgo and people, those who are watching the video for the first time, do subscribe so that next week when we upload the video, you have a notification for it. And those who are new, or you know, those who have subscribed, thank you so much. And there is a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. Thank you. Libra ascendant people. When we talk about Libra Ascendant, one of the best Ascendants in the world, and you know, I saw a comment today, he said that you, my, I am Libra, this Libra, that Libra, but if you say like this, then other people will say no, but you know, or I will still stay on my thing that Libra Ascendant is one of the best Ascendants and that's because of Venus being the Lagna Lord. And Venus right now in the sixth house, making Viprit Rajyog exalted on terms of that, making Nijvang Rajyog. So this is the time so many yogas are happening in your chart that I can't even imagine. Very beautiful time. Seventh house, sun exalted. Your status increases. You're going to get something, some positive designation in your workplace. What or, what or more you need? Moon is entering into Cancer in the 10th house. That means your career-wise, you will be going to be shining during this time. If you're looking for some power, some promotion, some new clients in the business, some deals to happen, this is a very positive period. And it continues because this is the time that Moon will enter into Leo on 18th of April. And Roiji 11th house is the house of gains. 
gains from career is seen for all the libra ascendant people you will gain something from the career either a designation either some positivity either some uh, acclamation or you know either some recognition or money monetary benefits is going to happen for all the libra ascendant people biggest to biggest goals will be achieved and your friends and your colleagues will help you achieve it but then when money comes what happens expenses happens and here is where you have to be careful 20th of april in canada roj this 20th of april is uh, celebrated as the national weed day who weed pite the bhang what we call cannabis day so this is the time of illusion remember not to get into any zone related to illusion or spending money for luxury if you have got money spend it no problem spend it invest it somewhere this is also spending invest it somewhere take a property take some kind of small gold bar some silver bar and anything invest into things which will give you 10x return don't spend it on luxury this is what my real real advice to every one of libra ascendant is in fact i would say that during this time be lot of devote like be very very spiritual give yourself to the world i just heard something very positive today roj ji so everyone says i have depression i have anxiety i have problem i have this i have that and what not just think that this is so you are so lucky you came in this world with nothing you came in this world naked with nothing not even clothes now you have so many things with you and you know that when you die you're not going to take all this depression anxiety with you so it is just this small process in the between which is creating this you know the this everything is illusion man i am trying to by making you know videos every week and making lot of studies every week and doing this i have come to a point that man roj it is all illusion man we are also in an illusionative world oh this is going to happen that is going to happen yeah we have to be careful that what is our next step but end of the day god is the one who decides everything no one it's not no one control man no one can control it so it is better to just do good karmas and you know you are going to go away from all this misery one day logically think about it otherwise good time for you bigger planets are doing good stuff for you so no need to be careful no need to be worried about the celestial system they are in your favor now you have to be uh, you know worried about the karmic system which is your karmas how your karmas are developing during this time this is what will convert into results for all the libra ascendant people those who are watching for the first time do subscribe so that next week you can see the weekly horoscope and there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and um, those who are watching the video for the first time uh, you know share it with your friends as well so that they can also know about the daily weekly predictions for everyone rohit ji now scorpio ascendant people here moon is entering into cancer into the ninth house so he remember in we say na moon and mars being mahalakshmi yog now see if you see the sign of uh, scorpio moon has been given the ninth house house of destiny that means the destiny depends on moon here and if anything by destiny anything related to higher learning education foreign land learning education anything related to uh, you know your guru or anything related to any kind of spiritual learning philosophical learning anything related to do with pilgrimage travel everything is looking very positive for you and i would see that people may be traveling during this time or may be getting into you know some kind of applying for some kind of university or some things like that so hopefully um, god i i wish that you know all your wishes come true in the beginning of the week only then moon enters into leo a good push in the career area a good push in the area related to your karma as well and also power comes to you if you are looking for some powerful position if you are looking for some great uh, uh, you know what we say uh a great barrier to overcome like you know you are just waiting for this project to complete so that you can get to the next step this is where you will be able to do that and for to to do that you have to be careful because 20th of april moon will enter into virgo into the 11th house in with ketu now ketu is the planet who will try to detach detach you from all the things in life and here it will try to detach you from the career area it will say that you know what don't trust this person don't trust that person and moon is the emotion and the mind and your mind will be under illusion so in this time what happens is you start making wrong decisions 
your goal is supposed to be complete but then suddenly someone gives you an idea that okay listen we should do this your from your social side from your network from your um, you know colleague system someone tells you that let's do this you will say okay yeah 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 and then there is where you will fail so do not listen to anyone listen to your heart mercury is still supporting you because mercury is putting an exalted aspect on the on the uh, what you say 11th house which is its own house so mercury is giving so that means communication that comes from your heart has to be listened because see fifth house is the house of you know lower chest the heart area only heart is here it's not here it is layered till down so it is where you have to listen to the heart listen to your emotions and don't get carried away by other people's judgment otherwise if we see venus exalted in the fifth house very nice for progeny that means child producing any kind of conception should be done should be done Hi education higher education amazing time for you uh, in terms of property also mars in the fourth house saturn in the fourth house property building of property is going to be and sun exalted in the sixth house workplace may you will be shining during this time the 10th house lord exalted in the 6th house shining in workplace healing in workplace any problem any people who are looking for a job will get job during this week so great time for all the people and not this week this month you know this whole month sun is exalted so all the best hope to see you soon next week for that subscribe so that you are always there you know you know what what is happening and what not and those who are watching the video for the first time uh, do subscribe as well as you know share this video and uh, those who want personal appointment the link is below sagittarius ascendant 15th of april moon will enter into cancer into the 8th house not a very very pleasant house but still moon in the own sign will do good only then bad anything that has shared resources that means things that are come to coming uh, should come to you through your partners or partnership positive things related to inheritance positive things related to you know health especially long term health illness that you are going through positive things will start becoming good in your favor but only the 8th house is the house of daydreaming under you know you're under so much pressure sometimes that you know you don't know what you are doing and this is the time of lot of accidents and you know some kind of uh, suddenly you you get in the fraud you know you get a link that click this you can get some money out of it that kind of fraud happens to you that will create a little bit challenge in your life but otherwise a moon in the 8th house will protect you in many other ways then moon enters into leo in the 9th house very very nice position for moon to be here you can expect great things related to your higher education related to money monetary benefit as well because moon is going to be looking in the 3rd house aspecting in Ma mars with mars in like mahalakshmi yog here you can make money also through your communication through your effort that you have put now you will start yielding results from it but otherwise your destiny will be supporting you anything that your destiny needs to pay you it will pay you immediately then it goes into your house of your career now you you have to be careful because 20th of april when moon enters into virgo remember mercury is aspecting the 10th house venus is aspecting the 10th house and ketu is sitting in the 10th house with moon in kendra okay and moon here is not very very pleasant because once it comes under the influence of ketu it starts becoming and taking headless decisions it start creating problem or trouble emotional decisions in workplace can lead to losses for all the sagittarius ascendant people no emotional uh, you know if anyone else or if you think that your boss is bad this that it's doing any sometimes you know roji with their influence also that you know sometimes we seen that oh this boss is not nice to other person when that boss comes then we also start becoming adamant or arrogant to him he has not done anything wrong to you but because of other person's influence we start acting crazy this is what moon is doing here in the work area you have to be careful not to quit not to look for a new job interviews is there be careful about it if you can avoid or delay good for you if not then you know be very very uh, submissive ketu is all about surrender surrender and you will win on the other hand positive things are also there for all the sagittarius you know venus exalted sun exalted in the 5th house education was children wise monetary wise money 5th house is the house of mahalakshmi money wise good things for you 4th house and anything that has to do with your uh, real estate anything vehicles very good time for buying and selling and you know making profit out of it great time for all the sagittarius it's just that moon enters 20th of april be careful in the work area otherwise everything is positive
all the best those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe so that next time when we upload a video you know you know that notification comes and you can see the video for your weekly and there is a very big video we are making on you know uh, jupiter that we will be uh, posting in next two three days so all the best do subscribe and those who are watching the video uh, you know and those who want to take a personal appointment everything the details are below there's a whatsapp link in the description capricorn ascendant now rohit ji here what happens is moon entering into cancer now moon is coming into the seventh house of relationships restoring lot of misunderstandings in the relationship restoring some positive things in the relationships and because moon is in this seventh house here it means that partnerships new partnerships can take place and which can be very very positive for all the capricorn ascendant people status if you are thinking of getting some kind of promotion in the area related to your work yes this house is the 10th from the 10th so you may get some kind of thing like that then moon enters into the 8th house now not a very pleasant time but not a pleasant time for health health wise little bit of challenge but on the other hand and health wise stressy challenge in the stomach or abdomen area lower abdomen area but on the other hand partnership wise gains from partnership sudden gains from partnership monetary gains or any gains that you are waiting from coming from your investments everything will be in your favor and it is very positive for all the capricorn ascendant people so all the best Eighth house is also the house where it is the house of sun, and sun is exalted in the fourth house. So inheritance wise, if you are looking for any kind of property that should come to you, and you know you were waiting for some kind of breakthrough in that area, you will get a breakthrough, and things will be looking. Things are looking very very awesome, positive for all the Capricorn ascendant people in that area. Then moon enters into Virgo. Now this is the time that travel will be a little bit challenging because moon is entering into the ninth house, and the ninth house is related to travel, pilgrimage. If there is any pilgrimage that is happening, it can create a very positive effect also as well. Like you know, it can be very positive, spiritual, spiritually completely recharged. But it will be difficult. The journey will be difficult. There will be a lot of obstacles that come your way because moon and Ketu are making a conjunction here, and whenever Ketu and moon will be together. moon will the mind will come under affliction and you may make wrong decisions in the area related to spirituality philosophy in the area related to your education or higher education so be careful in that area but other than that your communication is at peak man during this time your destiny is also at peak because there is a niche fung raj yog happening in the third house affecting the ninth house with the aspect of both the planets that means you are going to gain awesome results from your destiny as well as short distance travel as well as something related to do with communication so good news for all the people and sun lagnesh exalted many people capricorn were born in april this is a return of sun in the fourth house for you so every time sun comes it gives you extra power extra amazing news for you so all the best capricorn this is a good time to invest into uh, vehicle or real estate as well those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe so that next week when we upload the weekly video you are there and you know so on and on and those who want appointment everything is mentioned below click on the link you will come on the whatsapp directly and then we can book a one on one reading moving on to aquarius ascendant people when we talk about aquarius ascendant here moon is entering into cancer into the 6th house now 6th house is a very important house of health okay when we see here moon coming into the 6th house health is restored in some way or the other if there is any problem related to health daily routines workplace exercise discipline all these things will be restored that will be there will be positive effect for you in fact workplace wise if there is any politics any kind of trouble problem anxiety stress that you are going through you may feel the positive outcome in the area related to your workplace you may feel relaxation in that area and it's not that if you are going through litigation enemies troubles loans debts everything is going to fall into place and things will become better and better and better and especially moon entering into the 7th house relationship wise you know any misunderstandings any trouble struggle or designation wise if you're looking for some kind of growth in your life this is the time that you may see some growth winning in litigation also you know overcoming enemies and if there is any problem in the relationship or misunderstanding here it will be a positive time for you then later april 20th moon will enter into virgo into the 6th house into the 8th house into the sign 6 but it will be making a conjunction with ketu Also making a vipreet rajyog, so moon will be powerful here. Then Ketu, and especially because you know Venus is aspecting this house, 
um, what we say, uh, Mercury is aspecting this house. Rahu and Ketu are in this axis. So this house is absolutely powerful. That means money, monetary benefits, investments, money through investments can be very positive. But a little bit of struggle or difference of opinion or some kind of conflict in partnerships is seen because this is the house of gains from partnership here some kind of partnership issue is seen so what we need to do we need to avoid any kind of dispute and put it to the next week so that you know this time you do not enter into such kind of uh, relationship with your partner some kind of quarrel with your partner on the other hand, if we see your second house has, you know, Vipreet, uh, Nichbang, Raj Yoga, awesome time for making money, monetary benefits, status, values, your, you know, self-respect in the society is very big, family love is very good, third house is sun exalted, extreme power, extreme communicative power, you will do excellent during this time, excellent means excellent. So all the best equity session we will this week is going to be so awesome that ne next week you're going to write down that last week was amazing for me and this is real 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 in front of you nothing is like a um you know you, there is no shadow everything is in front of you who is where you know, all the planets are in front of you so all the best also subscribe so that next week when we upload the video weekly video you are there and you are you know clicking it so all the best Pisces ascendant people. When we talk about Pisces ascendant, the Lagna has a very big yoga happening that is called Nich Pang Raj Yoga. Seventh house is extremely powerful because of the Nich Pang Raj Yoga aspect, and that means the detachment, the problem that was happening in your in your relationship will start solving. There will be positive at outcome in that area. In terms of Moon, Moon is entering into the fifth house of your children. Fifth house of creativity, fifth house of love and romance, and moon in the own sign here. It is awesome time for restoring everything related to education problem, everything related to love and romance in children area. If you're trying to conceive, you know, this is if this date is right, you should try during this day because moon in the fifth fifth house promises progeny, promises dew drops. Dew drops means you know, when we see in dew drops on the grass, it is because of moon. And same way, when we see a dew drop inside our belly. You know, women can see that that is also moon. You know, it is the um, planet of fertility. So all the best for this kind of uh, stuff. Otherwise, those who are elder in age, those who are, you know, they will be law happy, happy, dharma, dharma wise, very happy, karma wise, very happy. From children, they can get some kind of beautiful results. So all the best for you. Then moon enters into the sixth house. Now, this is not a pleasant place for moon to be. But still, moon will try to do very, very positive results here, especially related to foreign travel, debt. If you're applying for any debt, you're waiting for some kind of money to come into your life through debt. This is the time that is possible. If you're waiting to get some kind of relief in the workplace, you know, in workplace, emotionally, you were very disturbed or you were in a lot of trouble. Here you will expect good results because the owner of this house, son, is exalted in the second house. It will restore your status and values in your workplace. In terms of litigation, you have to be careful because moon here does not have any power to work on the litigation area and it can create a little bit of more challenges. So if litigation can be avoided, if quarrelsome or enmity can be avoided, you should take a step forward and do it. <laughs> then moon enters into Virgo into the seventh house. Now here what happens is that Ketu is the planet of perfect detachment and moon is the planet of attachment. Moon is the emotional planet. Ketu is a non-emotional planet. So what happens when emotional and non-emotional comes together, there is a lot of conflict in that area and especially related to your partnerships, your wife or your business partners. Here is where you will feel a little bit of challenge and you need to overcome this bit, lot of spirituality and patience. You know, moon is a very fast moving planet. It'll just go from here. But the action that you do during this day will remain for a very long time. That's why during this time, no major decisions making in the relationship, either fighting, either ending, either divorce, either sending some papers, not to do during this day, 20th of April till 22nd. Just be careful because moon is going to transit and things are going to be okay. It is just illusion of that period. But otherwise, second house, sun exalted, awesome time for money. You know, Lagna, uh, Venus and Mercury exalted. Uh, Nich, uh, sorry, Nich Bhang Rajyo, great time for you. Great, great time for all the Pisces and people. Things are looking absolutely wonderful. And with Jupiter now transiting, your Lagna Lord transiting into the third sign for you, all your hardships are going to end. 
and things are going to be very very extremely positive for the pisces ascendant people all the best man those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe so that next week when we upload the video you can get it and those who are new also subscribe those who are uh, want appointment and want to talk to me you know everything is in the link below all the best all the best all the best rohit ji thank you very much akash ji uh, you are on holidays till you find out the time to make this video uh, you know all family members eagerly waiting for this video thank you very much and thanks to all the family members for your love and your blessings you always give in comments keep subscribing keep sharing and those who want to take consultation details on the screen whatsapp number on screen and a link in a description box you can click there and go there thank you akash ji we'll meet you in next video till then jai shri ram jai hind jai mal jai mal om